What's up guys, Coach G back here, gonna deliver you uh, Monday's workout. Um, the format of this workout is gonna be something that is inspired from a CrossFit workout called Fight Gone Bad, okay? And Fight Gone Bad, the style uh, is like this. You're gonna do one minute of maximum repetitions for each movement. So we're gonna do one minute of uh, max reps with thrusters, power cleans, uh, jump overs, push press, burpees, and then one minute of rest. When we get through with that, we're going to repeat it for a total of three times, okay? Now, the goal is to, like I said, achieve a maximum amount of repetitions and keep track of your score, okay? Um, so the first one is gonna be a thruster, all right? Now, the reason why I don't have any weights here is because not everybody has weights at home. So what I suggest doing is getting some type of weighted object. It could be um, a water jug, it could be a backpack filled with books, um, if you have a medicine ball or whatever, be creative, something that has a little bit of weight to it, um, and we'll use those for our movement. Now, when you guys are scoring this, make sure that you have, you know, a piece of paper, a whiteboard, or a marker, you know, something like that to keep track of your reps. So, let's say that I get through uh, my minute of thrusters. Um, I'm going to have a piece of paper close by if I have a hard time remembering reps when I'm tired. Uh, as soon as I, the minute ticks and time is up for that uh, section. I'm going to write down my thrusters. Let's say I've got 11, okay? And then I'm gonna immediately get into the next movement, which is gonna be power cleans for this instance. So don't take any rest from one minute to the next. Uh, what I suggest is whatever this movement is, go ahead and take it, your maximum reps, all the way to the 50 second mark. That way you give yourself about 10 seconds to transition to the next movement and uh, write your score down. So if I do 11 here, all right, let's say I do do 10 here, just for easy math, I go uh, 10 all the way down, right, boom, boom, boom. Okay, I'm gonna rest for one minute here, and then when that minute's up, I'm gonna pick up, and then my second round, I'm gonna put something to um, separate the round scores, okay, and go through there, and I will continue that all the way through and then all the way at the end I will add all these numbers up to get one um, singular score okay so that's for the conditioning piece and I'll demo some of those movements uh, here in a second but if you do have a weight set at home you're one of those that's fortunate enough that you got a little basement gym or garage gym something um, with weight and a bench um, a little bonus for you is going to be uh, some bench press work now when my athletes uh, left me, we were about to go into our peaking block. Um, we were at the end of our maximum strength phase. Well, now that our competition has been uh, canceled and a lot of things um, have gone down the way that they have, we're basically starting from scratch. So the workout for the bench press is gonna be three sets of 10 at 60% of your one rep max, okay? Make sure you give yourself just enough time to complete all of these reps uh, on your own. Don't go so fast that you go to complete failure and you're not able to complete them. If you're unsure of your one rep max and you have uh, the equipment to do so and you have a spotter for safety purposes and you are curious to know if you've gotten stronger through the last part of our um, meso cycle, then go ahead test out that one rep max and see what you can do. Our first movement is the thruster. So you're gonna take whatever your object is. Like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be a barbell. It can be a dumbbell. It can be, you know, like I said, I've got a medicine ball here. It could be a backpack, anything that's got weight to it. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it from the ground. Okay, we're gonna start in a front squat. All right, you're going to squat all the way up, extend, and then push your head through. So this is what it looks like from the front. Boom. All right, and from the side, notice I'm getting full range of motion, and I'm locking out at the top, sticking my head through. All right, next move is gonna be a power clean. What you're gonna do is you wanna make sure that you hinge over, so push your hips back, keep a nice flat back, pick the object up, stand up with speed, okay? Catch at the top. You can drop it if you like. You may not have that option. We're going to just tap the ground to get more reps. All right, from the side here. Notice how I'm pushing my hips back. You should feel 
a little stretch in the hamstring. Okay, make sure you're really focusing on shrugging whatever your object is. Okay, the next one's gonna be jump overs. So over and back is one. It's important to know that, okay? Over and back is one, all right? So feet together. Again, whatever your object is, doesn't matter. One, two, so on and so forth. The next one's gonna be a push press. So it's really just the end of a thruster. So you're gonna have the weight in front of you dip by pushing the knees forward so you can keep your back when you dip in a nice straight line opposed to dipping forward. Okay, all the way up, push the head through. All right, and the last one, everybody's favorite, is the burpee. Okay, remember chest and thighs all the way down to the ground. Snap up to the ground. It's followed by one minute of rest. You repeat that three times. If you got any questions, you know, shoot me a message on Instagram. Drop something in the comments. Uh, let me know, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.